Welcome back to Samsta Games, the place to find new strategy games. And today we're gonna play Baby Goat Billy and look at how cute he is! He's so cute! Now, this is a roguelike deck builder and I'm really excited to show it out. So let's go! Lying down in the grass. Billy's gonna love this shiny stone. I've been looking all over for new objects to give him. His passion for discovery is unseen, but he keeps asking for more and more interesting relics. It's starting to become very hard to find them and we keep wandering further and further each time. His curiosity is gonna get him in trouble someday. Oh well. I should probably go back to the village. Alright, let's go to the village. You actually move with your keyboard, which I think is quite unusual, but... Okay. Let's go talk to some people. Oh, let's go. Dad, what's going on? Billy has been kidnapped. What do you mean? What happened? God warriors were attacked and Billy was with them. Now they're trying to recover from the battle. The attackers took Billy. I need to go save him. Wait, come back. You cannot go out there by yourself. Too late. Let's go talk to the shaman so that he can help me get out. Oh, are you the shaman? <laughs> I have been expecting you. Expecting me? How did you know I was going to come to you? <laughs> I am no ordinary goat. I'm an all seer. I also saw you around the corner coming this way. I have the answers you seek, but you must first discover the question. Come along now, we will meet again. Alright. You can also like orient the camera, and if you orient the camera enough, you will move in the direction of the new camera, but you can also only move in like four directions, so you can move diagonally. <laughs> I don't accept visitors. I live outside the village for a reason. Sensei, I need your help. I want to learn how to fight. <laughs> it's been years since I stopped teaching. I just want to be alone now. Please, let me be. I don't have anyone else to turn to. My baby brother has been goatnapped and I need to save him. Goatnapped? Live in a small village. He must be hiding somewhere. No, he went outside the village with a group of villagers and was taken by an ancient tribe. Help me. <laughs> oh, you silly little goats. Why do you always get in trouble? Okay, show me what you got. Alright, so, uh, this is the enemy intention, as one would expect in uh, Black Brothers. Uh, we, uh, at the moment, we only have one energy, so we um, can only do one action per turn, but later on we might be able to do multiple. I'm gonna defend because he's hitting me, block disappears after the end of the just like the standard deck builder things. If you've ever watched anyone play any deck builder, play with yourself, you know how this works. So. I'll talk to you about the, the unique stuff once we get to them, but the beginning is fairly standard. And there are some unique stuff in this game. I, I like them a lot. Very good, you're a quick learner. Does that mean you'll train me? If I help you and you get hurt, I will be responsible for this and it will be on my conscience. I cannot let that happen again. What? No way I will get- No way I will get hurt! I must save my brother, there's no way I will get hurt. I know I can do this! Since great potential in you, your spirit is strong, but it will take a lot of work to learn to control it. I am on it! You will discover a world full of evil creatures in the dungeons. Remember to watch your health in battle. Yeah, yeah, we know. The corrupted tribe were normal goats once, but wanted to obtain the power of scrolls. As they learn more about the magic language, they step into an unknown world and paid a heavy price. The masters of magic but became corrupted. And lost their identity as a consequence. So, the legend is real? You bet. As real as a rock in your shoe. Good luck on your journey, kid. Go now. On it! On it! I need to go save my baby brother! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we don't care about the camera switch. Night of Games like, I want you to know about the camera switch. I know about the camera switch. Calm down. Alright, so I'm, I'm really excited for <laughs> that. There's a lot of fun stuff in this game. Come on, go. Hey, you. I don't know what you're doing here, but you have to help us. You were attacked and are now severely wounded. We'll give you something that can help you against the monsters. Just bring us two clusters of mushrooms so we can recover. I am on it! 
All right, so here we enter a, a fight. We have been attacked. Now, uh, we're gonna just gonna, so they're hitting me for first, so I'm gonna defend. We still have only one energy. Every time you level up, you gain more energy, which I think is super cool. We're gonna punch, which deals five damage. And we're gonna go, so we have punch, which deals five damage, then we have scratch, which deals two damage twice. What he's doing is he's giving me a parasite, which is a card that you can't really use to do anything. I think I'm just gonna let him punch me. I just wanna go. We're gonna move through the easy fights a little bit quicker. Yeah, punch him again. He's giving himself a block and a parasite, so I'm just gonna keep punching him. Next time we have to do six damage, which we can, so we're gonna have to. Oh, now I can only punch. I can't block this time. Okay, so we get hit a bit more. That's not particularly bad. Let's keep punching. Right. He's dead. Now this is gonna give us XP, and as we gain the XP, and also a new card. As we gain the XP, we'll gain skills, and the skills are really the really cool thing about this game. I love it. So, the cards. We've got our basic cards that you can use all the time, and then we can gain new cards, but you can't use the new cards immediately. Instead, you need to gain the correct skill three for this. So, for example, I could get Power Punches, deal two damage twice, and gain one in power. And power gives you extra energy, but in order to be able to use this, I need to have a holy one talent. Or I can go for health, gain four shield now and four shield at the start of next turn, but for that I need wisdom. So I think we're gonna take the holy one, I like that quite a bit. So here's the skill trees, and there's wrath, wisdom, holy, and evil. And as you gain them, you will be able to use the the cards of that particular type now each of these skills also give you something for example if we take holy which we need to because we took the card for it we'll gain 10 percent more experience if you took evil when you choose a reward card you'll get extra so it's important to also figure out like which tree you want to go down for and also how well they combine holy for example gives you a lot of healing wrath is a lot about giving you extra damage based on how lower your HP is from maximum. So Wrath and Holy doesn't work that well. Evil, on the other hand, allows you to hurt yourself. Essentially, yeah, like you deal damage to enemy and deal damage to yourself. So Holy and Evil actually works pretty well because the Evil isn't so much about how much health you lost. It's more about like, hey, I hit you for 10, hit myself for five. And then you could use Holy to heal yourself up, at least from the card that I've seen so far. It's possible there was like a specific subset. Not how the whole thing works, but I, I think I, we're gonna try to probably go holy and evil because I think it's such a funny combo. <laughs> like you wouldn't expect that. Now defend gives us five shield, leaves give us from three to six. We only need five, so I'm gonna go for this. I love how the stone set you just hit you. Let's punch it. Now it's gonna give me thorn, so every time I hit it, it's gonna hit me back. Now we can do punch, which does five damage, or scratch, which does two damage twice. So uh, it's actually better to do the punch, otherwise our, our hits would get hit us a bit more. Now notice that I don't have the new card that I just got, because I don't have Holy One, so I can't use it. Let's keep punching. Yeah, we're getting hit here. There's not much I can do about it. Uh, I'm just going to defend. I'm going to keep on. There are a lot of ways to heal, so I'm not too worried about... Like, you can find objects in the room that will heal you. Just why I'm not particularly worried about the the damage I'm taking. If you're if you're wondering why we're like so careless about our HP. Also, I really want to go down the evil part, and evil part is definitely that you're gonna hurt yourself a lot. Uh, yeah, evil. Deal three damage for each needle card used this combat. Adds three needle cards to the needle. Lose two HP and gain one mana. Exactly. So we're gonna take acupuncture, and we're gonna try to go the healing slash uh evil path all right so as you can see as i'm sort of stepping into these things i am getting um health and stuff back now we gotta go back to these two warriors and say hey okay let's first look at this box oh there's nothing in the box okay let's go talk to the warrior and be like hey i find your mushrooms great no, great now i can make mushrooms to in our strength you deserve a reward for your effort Ooh, blue totem or green totem? Blue totem. Totem deals two damage every time you play a wisdom card. Not good because we're not going down the wisdom path. But green totem. Gain three block each time you use a holy card. Gain two mana each five holy cards. Yes, please. I, I just I find it so fun we're going holy and evil path. But I'm really excited about it, guys. In my desk game, I went for wrath. I find for wrath and evil, which is a weird combo kick to get it because you land up at like no HP. So I'm really excited to do like holy and evil. Right, because we leveled up, 
we now have two mana and also what we definitely need to do is we need to get uh oh i have to apply this green totem let's do that then and then we're gonna scratch it we oh i love that it, you can see it over here uh, again i can't really uh use any of the cards because i didn't give myself the skill but we're gonna do it immediately after this fight uh okay we're gonna need to leave i'll let him hit me for six that's fine and punch Maybe we should have blocked because he had enough block anyways, but that's fine. We'll punch. We defend this point just because we'll lose the block anyway, but that's okay. Lee, exactly for six. Great. Punch. Okay. Scratch. Can't attack again, unfortunately. Defend. Defend. He has the block, so no hits would really be. I mean, I guess I could have punched him to get exactly to 10 HP, but let's punch. Ooh, we got a double hit and scratch. Beautiful. Now we need to get that holy one thing so that I can use my beautiful card. Wish I got an evil totem because the evil thing gives us three needle cards, so we would be more likely to use that. But okay, we've got a wrath or okay, evil. Apply to burn and deal two damage equal to target burn value. Okay, but for that we need evil two, which is gonna take us while. We'll start with the holy one. And we'll move. So we gain experience a little bit faster now as well. Green totem and a scratch. A little weakens me, so I won't be able to hit him for as much, but I can still like punch and scratch. Alright, power punches. This should give me energy back, right? Oh no, empower increases attack damage. But now I need to do well I have a block of two. I'll let him hit me, I'll do the punch. I was punch for three, it wasn't really crazy, but I guess it was better than nothing. Oh power punches again. We got empowered too. It increases attack damage by two. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, no need for shielding because, well, he's hitting me. We'll leave this time. Defend. Oh, does the empower just stay? I kind of assume it would like get lower than by the end of the turn, but it seems to just stay. So that's actually a huge card. What we got there. That is insane. Apparently, going down the holy path is really useful. Who knew? <laughs> Everybody did, I guess. Ooh. Poison. Apply to poison. Absolutely. You can also remove cards from your deck. For example, I could remove the scratch and this would give me a better chance to get the power punch. Actually, I might do that because the power punch is just the better way of scratch. So I don't really need that. So we'll just have a, a punch and power punches with the three blocks and the green totem. And we we'll just keep rotating these cards. Okay. Anywhere else we haven't gone? No. So let's go to the next room. Let's see what happens there. Okay, we can optimize our deck by removing unwanted cards. We already know that. So let's go fight somebody. Ooh, yeah. So I'll start with the green totem and a leap. Ooh, we get a block for seven. Very nice. Power punches. He's going to buff and defend himself. Uh, there's uh, no need for block. He gives himself empower to only have empower one, and he's hitting me for eight, so we definitely need to leave. We only got five this time. All right, power punches again, and a regular punch. Which is now seven damage. Ooh, but he's hitting me for ten, so I'm just gonna defend. Can defend for eight out of those ten. Because he's also like empowering himself. You might want to go like fast. That would also be an option to just be like try to go as quickly as possible. Punch. I should have done the power punch just first, but it doesn't really matter. The green coating is so good. Because getting that extra mana and that extra block. Okay, level up. Now we're gonna go for evil one. So we can use the needle card. I don't really want the Wrath card because I'm not going to go down the Wrath path. So alternatively, Holy 2. We don't have a card for Holy 2, do we? No, we only have cards for Evil 1 and Evil 2. Okay, so Weaken is what we're going to get and Acupuncture. That's both Evil 1. And then Incinerate and Poison is Evil 2. Yeah, so let's just go for Evil 1. When you choose reward cards, we get one more to choose from. That's also quite good because we can make sure that we pick the Holy or the Evil stuff. Ooh, I can offer... I can buy something. Deal three damage and apply two burn. 
or deal to the another now let's take the flame because we have a card that deals damage based on how much burn they have so i feel like the flame strike would be a useful card for that we might want to think about though whether we want to remove because we have a, okay we have punch power punch acupuncture and a flame strike so i might actually remove this punch are we sure though Because we just got two extra... I think maybe we'll just... We'll leave it for now. Oh, I can always come back and buy, buy stuff again. I don't want to buy more stuff. Oh! Uh, excuse me? Oh! You're supposed to get scared. Uh, just some purple smoke. Why would I get scared? Uh, I tried, okay? It gets pretty boring out here, so I need to entertain myself somehow. And by the way, I'm not just smoke. I'm a spirit. <laughs> That looks like a spirit. Oh, I'm sorry for not matching your spirit expectation. I do have a story, you know? Many years ago I was a- I don't have time for stories. I need to find my baby brother. He's in danger. Wow. Okay, I got things to take care of anyways. Bye. Like, no need to be rude. Hmm, that was strange. I wonder how many other souls are lost out here. Maybe if you talked to him, you would have found out. Ooh. The corrupted tribe has lived here for ages. Ever since the black magic was released, trying to escape has been- useless effort. Few remember what the world looked like before the big event. All of the gold kind left simple but satisfied. There was stability and cooperation, warmth and friendship. The villages were booming, growing by the second. Each day there would be a new venture for the villages to look forward to. But this atmosphere created peace and sense of fulfillment in the goats. But it soon appeared that not all goats were satisfied with this primitive community. Ooh, take shiny tokens, 10 to 20 gold. Yes, please. All right, let's go fight with my evil cards. I'm excited. I'm excited for being evil holy person. Piercing attack. Enemy's next attack will ignore your defenses. How dare you? I'm going to start by weakening you and punching you. Ah, so now you can only hit me for two because you're weak. Ooh, so they're trying to give themselves evasion. If we hit them three times, they will get stunned. So we're going to power punch them to hit them twice. And then I'm going to flame strike. It's not going to do that much damage, but I do like giving him burn. Because he will take two damage at the end of each... Well, actually, one, two damage and the next turn one damage. I'll take the green totem and we'll proceed with the power punch. Right, the next time we can stun him again. I think. Okay, so this actually resets each time. So we'll start with the uh, flame strike, which is... Oh, it's only one. So I can't actually... So I'm going to defend because I can't actually uh, stun him this time. Right. Acupuncture, sure. That would allow me to stun him. Oh, it's only going to give the cards in my deck so I can't actually use them yet. I thought it would be like immediately so I can use them, but it's actually just like... Use them later. Defend. So the needle gives me HP, but it won't really let me... Um, I don't have like cards that take a lot of HP, so I'm not entirely sure if that's like the most useful thing to do right now. Now that I think about it, maybe it wasn't the best card to take the needles. Okay, let's do some power punches and the regular punch. Because the needle makes me gain mana, but like... If you have two needles, you don't need that. It's gonna be kind of interesting. Magic War. Exhaust blocks the next negative spell effect. Gain two mana. I don't need any of these. I'm just gonna say no. Get five health back. And let's go fight here. Okay. We'll weaken you and use the green totem. Uh, well, we can do again and defend, I think. Yeah, the acupuncture, that was kind of better, because, like, because of the fact that we don't seem to have any cards that would, like, cost more than one mana, it just doesn't feel particularly exciting to use the needles, because it's like, well, what do I need the extra mana for, right? Let's sleep, and then we can... Right, we'll start with the flame strike. 
Oh, wait, but I... Okay, so I'll take the acupuncture and then I'll deal three damage for each needle you sell. Hit him for three, hit myself for two and gain extra mana. But if I use the acupuncture again, does that mean that I now hit him for six with my needle? I will find out next turn because I need to block first. So in my opinion, one needle should now allow me to do seven damage. And again, I won't find out because... I don't have any needle right now. Come on, give me some needles. Yes. So are you really doing seven damage? It didn't do any damage. Okay. Okay, I get it. You have to use the needle and then you use acupuncture retroactively and then that allows you to do the damage based on how much you... This would do four damage twice. And this would do eight damage. Okay, that's enough. So I have to use the acupuncture to get the needles. Then use the needles three times, let's say. And then the next time I use acupuncture, it's going to give me three damage for each needle used. So I can do it to use nine, nine damage. But that's very... That feels very expensive. Um, gives you back three health points. Let's take that. I guess we'll go for like health two a holy two yeah i don't i feel like the acupuncture is, is kind of bad because like it, it takes a lot of time to make it work in my opinion because you have to use the acupuncture then use the needles then use the acupuncture again uh, but i guess i mean maybe i don't know let's weaken the enemy and then i guess flame strike so we give him burn We do have bleeding, so you gotta watch out for that. I'm gonna use power punches to get that empower, because we know how important that is. And do another flame strike. Now let's see whether block blocks bleeding. It does. It, it doesn't. No, no, I think it does. You are not hitting me at all, so we'll continue. So power punches would just do like enough damage to break this block. So I guess I'll do the acupuncture this time. I'm gonna defend just to block the bleeding. Okay, we'll weaken him and leap. It still hit me for like a lot. Power punches and a regular punch. Okay. Yeah, I'll remove the acupuncture. I don't like it. Punch. If I defend, yeah, I can use the needle now. I was gonna say if I defend, but it takes away the negative effect of the needle. I don't think it will. I mean, I'm gonna use the needle once, I guess. But it's, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big fan. I right, flame strike. Weaken. And... Power punches. Weep. Okay, and now the acupuncture will actually do some damage. Okay, yeah, now it did some damage. So, we're gonna take it away. I, I'm not, not, not a fan. Uh, defend. No need to use the needles because it just hit me and there's no need for that. So... Power punches and a punch. Gain two empower, make your attack stronger during this combat. Yeah, let's take just the empower by itself, because that, that's useful. It's not as good as the power punches, but it's still nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean we know about the Yeah, I'm gonna remove the acupuncture just like it's not good. It's not good. Or it doesn't feel as good as it probably should be. Now let's do one more fight. Alright. We'll weaken you. We'll use the green totem. We're gonna get ourselves some bleeding, but we do have the green totem which will hopefully block us. Power punches. And we'll empower. 
If you get a block of four just from using those cards, which is very useful. Oh, now we get defense. I don't want that defense. Come on. Alright, uh. Flame strike and a punch. So defend from and then just empower I think. If empower five. Power punches definitely. They're doing so much damage. And flame strike because why not? Nine damage with the flame strike. This is so crazy. Like the power punches now do what eight damage twice? Crazy is that uh yeah, let's just keep punching and empowering. I should have empowered first, but and I also love that we get a bleeding exactly of two because every time we use a green card we get that back. So I don't need, even need to worry with like defending too much because... I mean I don't need to worry about defending from bleeding. He still hit me so from him yes but... 12 damage. Twice. That's so crazy. Oh yeah let's just punch. He's dead. Because we do 16 damage in a single punch. That's how you build a build, guys. We're going for evil two this time. Ooh, holy four. Gain one extra mana each turn usable only if you lost health from an attack last turn. That would be a good sort of like a workup with the being evil thing. I guess we'll take that. But I kind of want to go for evil two now. Casting weaken now makes enemy attacks do 50% less damage. That's great. I think before that it was only 30%. But I actually think we're going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments. And you can click on the right to watch some other games that you play on this channel. I'll see you there. Bye bye.